From 1700 until the beginning of the First World War in 1914, a period of great social, political and economic upheaval unfolded across the globe. Every aspect of daily life was transformed in some way. The Industrial Revolution began in Britain during the early part of the 18th century. Prior to this, life in Britain had remained largely unchanged for generations. People lived in agrarian societies. Farming was ruled by the seasons and the harvest was at the mercy of the sun, rain and wind. There are many contributing factors that made the Industrial Revolution possible. Too many to cover here. In this program, we will focus on the agricultural revolution, the rise of the factory, new technology, and the role of Britain's empire. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be happy with a nickname turnip. Well, believe it or not, one Englishman, Lord Charles Townsend, was given the nickname Turnip Townsend, and we're about to find out why. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, most people in Britain lived in open field villages. They relied on subsistence farming, which produced enough food for the peasants or tenants of the landowner, but little, if any, extra. Farmers used a system of rotating crops over three fields to grow food. Each year, two of the fields were used to grow crops, barley and wheat, for example, while the third field would lie fallow, left unplanted, to allow the soil to replenish lost nutrients. Livestock would graze in the fallow field, helping to fertilise the soil. In the following year, the crops would be rotated through the fields, one fallow, two productive. Peasant and village households were given a number of strips in the fields to plant their crops. From the 16th century onwards, landowners started turning open fields into enclosed paddocks that were assigned to a single farm. They wanted to bring their land under tighter control and make it more productive. This also meant the peasants were no longer able to strip farm and sometimes could not access water. Now unemployed, most of the peasants had two options. Work as a hired labourer on a farm or seek employment in town. Some of the larger landowners subdivided the land and then leased it back to the peasants. The way in which crops were sown was improved when, in 1700, Jethro Tull invented a horse-drawn seed drill that could plant three rows of seed at a time. It was able to drill a hole, drop the seeds in, and cover them over with soil in one action. Prior to this, seeds would be thrown by hand into the ploughed furrows. Some seed would be eaten by birds, and some blew away with the wind. Jethro Tull's seed drill dramatically improved production by increasing crop yields five-fold. In 1730, the Rotherham Triangular Plough, patented by Joseph Foliambi, had an iron blade rather than wood, and its design made it lighter and easier to use than earlier ploughs. It required only two horses rather than four, and one ploughman. The Rotherham plough had the dual benefit of cutting labour costs and saving time. And now we come to Turnip Townsend. During the 1730s, Lord Turnip Townsend introduced the Dutch four-crop rotation system to Britain. The four-crop rotation system rotated wheat, turnips and barley, for example, through four fields. The turnips helped nourish the soil with nutrients which, in turn, would produce a better wheat and barley crop the following year. In winter months, turnips were fed to livestock. This meant that it was no longer necessary for farmers to slaughter their beasts before winter. Improvements in farming had a dramatic social and economic impact in Britain. It now took fewer people to produce more food. By the end of the 18th century, farming had been transformed from primarily satisfying basic food and clothing needs of the village community into a commercial opportunity to sell the increasing food surplus to emerging local and foreign markets. <laughs> 